Welcome to episode uh, 17 and tonight's uh, guest is Lasse Fredriksen from uh, Norway. Uh, we will not have Kuba this time either because he is preparing for uh, his new segment uh, live from uh, the stadium. So let's just head over to uh, the Stavanger area in uh, Norway and to Lasse Fredriksen. Hello Lasse. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Everything is great here. Finally some rain in Norway. Yeah. <laughs> Not here. Not there, of course. Oh, yeah, so. we saw that when we did the camera tests. I saw you had perfectly blue sky and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's Down really at the nice. coast, you know. Have you been on the bike this year? Yeah, I've been three times. It was uh, last night, actually. Yeah. But no, no league. But it's no league startup in Norway yet. No, no, it's uh, it should have been this weekend uh, coming up, but but it's uh, it's postponed. I don't know. I don't really, really know if it's uh, if they have found any date, and if they and uh, even I don't think they have. Yeah, I, they, they don't really know themselves. I, I saw something that there was some dates. Uh, uh, f for the league, uh, there I think it was in August somewhere, yeah. sometime there. Yeah. So, what do you do to keep in shape? Do you do something now in, in this uh, waiting period? Yeah, I've uh, I've been taking up running. You know, I, uh, since last year I started up running because yeah, I didn't ride any speedway, so football was closed. I used to play soccer, uh, football, but uh, yeah. Everything is closed, you know, so I had to find something on my, uh, by myself. So everything is closed during the, because of the corona? Yeah. It's, it's crazy times now. But we can see an opening now. I was told that uh, Norwegians will be vaccinated in from 18 to 25, I think it was. That will be uh, vaccinated together with the 40-year-olds like me. So <laughs> maybe we can go to Speedway soon. What are you? What are your plans? Because I, I read on Speedway, not a good dot. I know that you would race some uh, qualifiers. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I will. If they if they get on, I will uh, go to Scotland to ride uh, the GP qualifier in in Glasgow, which is the one I know now. Yeah. And yeah. I, I want to do the the other ones too, but I don't really know where they are or when they are because I don't think there's a common date on them. No, I, I really don't know either because it's been a lack of information, I think. Yeah. But yeah. we in Norway have a difficult problems to get our athletes out of Norway and then returning to Norway because of the 10 day quarantine situation that yeah. everyone must stay 10 days in quarantine hotel as Norwegian citizens. Yeah. And if you're not a Norwegian citizen or passport holder, you cannot even enter Norway. <laughs> that is right. Yeah, then it's a big problem there. Do you have any other options? Do you <clears throat> probably see to seek out of Norway? race in another country, live in another country for a period of time just to be come up to speed with your racing? Yeah, I checked out the possibility to go to Denmark yeah, in yeah days or weeks or whatever. I, uh, I want to do some races before the, the GP qualifiers. I want to do some races uh, before the Swedish season starts. So that's pretty much what I try to do right, right now. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's also difficult because I got uh, I got work to do at home. I uh, and uh, you know if 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 I have to sit ten days when I come back, it, it's going to be a problem. But uh, yeah, I just have to be away for as many weeks as possible and ride as much as possible, and yeah, yeah. see where, see what it takes me. You're talking about work, so you're. You work full time, also. Yeah, yeah. It's the only way you can make this go around now, 
in this situation. Yeah, yeah. During this time, you know, I haven't do, I haven't written a lot. So yeah, yeah. Do you have any deals with then, for example, any Danish clubs, so you can, you have somewhere to go, some uh, yeah. opportunity to get some races. Yeah. Yeah, I have uh, the first division in Holstead to go to. They have started up a few weeks ago, and yeah, they want me on the team. So uh, I uh, will do uh, what I can do to to get over there and and do the meetings for them, and yeah, getting shape for for the Swedish season and uh, and the individual season. I want I want to do uh, to ride the Norwegian Championship at, at home also. So that's I need some races in my body to to be sharp there, you know. Yeah, to get back in race form. Yeah. Have you been in Sweden? You will race for, if the possibility opens up for you, will you race for who? I have a contract again with uh, Valsana, where I uh, have been the last three years. Yeah. So really much looking forward to that. Great club. And that's in uh, all Svenskan level? Yeah. Yeah, so you've been racing two years before, prior to this? Yeah. Or is it three? Yeah, I had a contract last year also, but it was cancelled. So, you know, yeah, two seasons full, full time. Yeah, yeah. And in Great Britain, do you have any or had any deals there? Yeah, I had a deal for 2020 with Edinburgh and uh, and we tried to make the deal go go to 2021 also, but but it couldn't happen because of the, uh, the Brexit rules and the visa rules made ah, it so difficult for me. So, uh, yeah. You got struck by them? Yeah. Is there any way to solve that issue, do you think, for your future? I haven't, I haven't really read all the rules. I guess there's a lot, but uh, yeah. yeah, just as I understand the club, Club didn't have really much time to to search for this visa for me, and uh, and they told me they will try again next year, and yeah, we hope hopefully it'll go through. Yeah, it will give them more time to work on that. Yeah, because of course you had a contract there. The Corona situation last year blew it. Of course you're a catch because yeah. I know how you race. I seen you race. I saw you became Norwegian champion 2018 uh, in Oslo. So um, I know you got it in you. What about Poland? H have you tried to seek something in Poland? Mm, not really. Uh, haven't been much to Poland during my uh, 500 city uh, time. But uh, yeah, I, I should go there and practice. But I, but it have re haven't really happened. I had a tour uh, when I think it was two. Two or three years ago, where where I, where everything was planned, and I was going to go down and practice for some weeks, but then I had an injury and and yeah, pretty much stopped all all my season, and yeah, haven't happened since that. What type but of if injury? the opportunity comes, uh, I really much go grab it, you know. I just yeah, of course. But what type of injury did you have? And when uh, did it happen? It was an injury. In, it was injury in my head. In your uh, head. Concussion. Yeah. yeah. But it took you some time to get back from that? Yeah. It was yeah, really tough to get back from that. I had a I had a head headache for for months, you know, so I I really much didn't write any more that, that season. Just I was trying to get back to it but it but it doesn't didn't happen because I I wasn't on top of myself. And that happened last year? No. No, 2019. Yes. Yeah. So you used many months to get back. Yeah. Just from a concussion. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was a severe one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. We we all know that Tony Ricardson ended his speedway career in 2006 because of that. Mm. You know. So. Uh, What 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 would you do? Um, no, would you race a speedway European qualifier, for example, if that chance came up for you? What? Uh, sorry, what did you say? A speedway European Championship qualifier. Would you race that yeah. if that came up for you? 
Yeah, I was due to race it this year, but uh, uh, the qualifiers got cancelled, and and they they just seeded some guys in into the uh, challenge. Okay. But yeah, but I I had a chance to ride it, but uh, but I couldn't take it because it came too soon for me. I haven't. I think it would be in in two weeks' time, one and a half week time down in uh, in Pardubice and. Yeah, I had to do some meetings before I I get into a, a SEC challenge, you know. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if 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 it was to ride to be ridden uh, later this year, I, I would have grabbed a chance. But uh, yeah, we'll try again next year in the qualifiers, and we'll yeah, see see what it gets me. So so your only opening or your only dream now is to find the solution for you to go to Denmark now to start preparing and see where that takes you yeah for this year yes i uh i just want to ride again and and you know have have the feeling on my bike again i didn't get that last year and yeah for me i'm a rider who needs to ride a lot to be sharp and and yeah that really yeah did not help me last year to say the least much of this corona situation which we have here in norway for people in Europe, the, the, I can explain that this the government opens up and then they close down again. And when they close down again, they close also all the sports. Yeah. So you cannot have sports. It's not talking about spectators at all. It's only the sport. They just close it down. So we cannot do it. And then they open up again and then they close f 40 days after again. It's like up and down situation. And we get a little bit tired of that. Uh, we really want to do our sport and get away and train. Even places, they stop the training because of the corona restrictions. Can't even go and practice at the track or anywhere uh, at some times. So, but I understand now they are open again. Uh, most of Norway for practicing speedway with, of yeah. course, one million meter distance between each other. <laughs> yeah, it's open for practice. Yeah, um, yeah, it's great. No meetings yet. What do you do for a living? What What is your job? I got cur curious about. That. Yeah, I work at a, a workshop just down the street. So you're fixing cars, machines. What? You 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 said the workshop. So you fixing cars, machines, or something else. No, not really. Uh, uh, like a workshop for uh, for food. Uh, ah. Yeah, like driving trucks and stuff. Ah, cool. So it's yeah. like uh, logistics uh, type of uh, job. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, in that sense, yes. It was great to having you on, Lasse. Uh, really hope that you can get yourself to Denmark and this situation with uh, Edinburgh Monarchs and Visa and everything will sort itself out like magically so you can go. I know you're a great yeah, rider. So. so and I saw when we posted that you will be on. You have lots of fans out there. Lots of fans that are writing to us and and say, wow, so cool that we have a Norwegian person on for the first time in history. So, yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Good luck with the season. Thank you. Thanks. See you. Bye. Bye. Get your favorite rider in a Speedway Canvas today. Buy them at speedwaycanvas.com. That was a short and sweet uh, episode for you guys. You get a little bit more into what uh, Lasse Fredriksen have plans for this uh, season. It's all these strange rules we have for the corona situation, which also stop our athletes for training, racing and doing their sports. Many countries have the same rules too. So we're all in the same boat. Let's hope everybody gets the vaccine and we can go racing and open up everything and have fun. At least also with the spectators. Lasse is not coming next time. I forgot to change that. And he say Lucas Feinhagen? Hey, I my producer tell me that I <clears throat> didn't do my job. <laughs>
this week. I'm really sorry. Thank you, Lasse Fredriksen, for joining us. And also Lukas Feinhager for last episode. Go and watch that if you really want. Uh, I really hope next week we will have uh, Kuba with uh, his uh, new show. As a stunt reporter, he will, he, he's known for torturizing people with dumb questions and get dumb answers back. Let's hope he can do that next week. See you. Bye.